Good morning, Quiet Comfort 101 here. And before we get started, let's get today's shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to RC Stooges. He was first to say first to one of my recent videos and thus wins this shout out. So congratulations. Good morning, Quiet Comfort 101 with another review of another neat airplane. This is the XK a150. What is the A150? Well, it's another uh, three-channel aircraft. We've been seeing a lot of these airliners come out, three-channel airliners uh, with rudder control. Um, let's let's go over it. Let's show it to you here. Um, if you notice the logos on it, I, I like these logos. Uh, this is a one-nighted airlines uh, aircraft. I don't know if you've ever seen one-nighted airlines, but it it does have the United Airlines logo on the back. But <laughs> just that's interesting. Let me show you the box too. That's that's interesting too. You got to see this box, folks. Uh, this is not a Boeing 747. It's a Boyan 747. Uh, this one here is from Fitanza Airlines. So uh, I think they're going for. They're trying to avoid uh, lawsuits here from using logos and uh, company names. But uh, we know what they're trying to say here. <laughs> so, <laughs> but let's look at this airplane. Um, it is again a Boeing 747. Uh, a little scale model, flying scale model of the Boeing 740, seven, semi-scale model of the 747. Uh, one thing I liked about this aircraft when it came out of the box is that minimal assembly was requ required. Uh, I did not have to do any gluing, especially these motors. These motors were already attached to the wing when it came, you know, when it comes in the box. All you need to do is attach the wing to the aircraft, and it's attached by a single screw right there. Um, it, it angles in, and then you screw the the wing onto the airline, or onto the uh, fuselage by screwing it in right there. There's also a plug. You got to plug in the uh, flight control board that runs to the uh, back servo here. And uh, that again, this does have a back servo. I forgot to mention that, and that makes it true three channels. Now this servo pushes up your elevator control and allows it to go up and down. Now, in addition to being able to manually control that elevator, this aircraft includes gyro stabilization, as with the other airlines that I've reviewed. That makes it very hard to roll over accidentally and very hard to pitch over to cause a crash. Okay, this will automatically level itself in flight if you let go of the sticks. Um, it, it makes it very easy to fly for beginners, and that's the intent of this aircraft, to make it a beginner's, beginner friendly aircraft. Now, you can turn off that stabilization, or some of, it, some of that stabilization, particularly for the pitch, by pressing this right button here. And when you do that, that will enable, enable you to do um, loops with this airplane by just giving it full throttle and pulling back on a stick, and this thing will loop. Okay, at least the, the others that I've flown will loop uh, with this pitch control. We'll, we'll that, verify that this actually can do that when we take it out in the field today. But uh, let's take another close look at it. Again, these motor pods were all glued on. So you do not need to do this. this the assembly of this took about 5 to 10 minutes for me. It was very simple. Attached this, uh, attached the wheels to the aircraft, and I think that was about it. <laughs> okay, these, these wheels just insert into slots. And uh, again, five to ten minutes to assemble it out of the box, and you're, you'll be ready to go if you charge your battery. Now, let's talk about what you get in the box. Um, you get the aircraft. You get a 300 milliamp hour battery. This thing is powered by a uh, simple 300 milliamp or 300 milliamp hour uh, 1S uh, lipo battery with white low C connector. These are very common. You can find these on eBay, Amazon, just about everywhere and get spares if you want to keep on flying all day. I wouldn't fly back-to-back -back flights with this because these little this thing is powered by these little 720 motors pushing this big aircraft. These motors are going to get warm after each flight, so let them cool down before you go setting it up into the air again one, one more time. Give it about uh, 10 to 15 minutes of cool down period before you go on your next flight. Um, you get a battery charger, and it's a uh, dual battery charger, dual port battery charger, so you can charge two batteries at once with it uh, using a micro USB port. I recommend using a wall charger. Don't use your phone, to, or your, not your phone, your laptop to charge these, the laptop USB port, because that takes a long time. You know, laptop uh, power output uh, is usually around 500 milliamp or, or 500 uh, milliamps coming out of the uh, USB port, and that's not really a lot of power to charge these type of batteries. I recommend using a phone wall charger, about 2 amps, and that will charge up these batteries in a reasonable amount, reasonable 
of time. That's not to say you can't charge this in your laptop, but it's going to take an hour or two. <laughs> and you can save yourself a lot of time there if you use a wall charger. Other things you get with it is the controller. The controller got up, or this is throttle. There is no yaw control on it, just throttle, uh, pitch, roll, and on off. <laughs> and again, this button here turns off the stabilization of the aircraft. The left shoulder button does nothing, okay? It's nothing, but this one will turn off that stabilization so you can do acrobatics with the aircraft. Additional things you get in the, the package is a spare set of propellers and a screwdriver for inserting that wing, turning on that wing. And uh, finally, you get the instruction manual, and it's a Chinese English instruction manual, so and it's reasonably well done. Uh, give you an idea how to get into the air. So let's take this out. All right, I haven't shown you this before we take it out for a flight. This is the belly bay, and uh, the belly bay is where you insert your your battery, your battery goes in this here and attaches to here, and you close it up. But again, the flight control board is right behind it, right here. And that flight control board, again, does include gyro stabilization, again, to make it very easy to fly. So, let's take it up in the air, see how it flies. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and we are out at one of my favorite flying fields. However, it is a bit breezy today. We've got about five to five to eight knots of wind we're gonna see how all this flies in the wind I got a thing feeling it might have a little bit of problems today because of this wind but we'll see how well that uh, gyro stabilization works and we'll see if we're gonna be end up flying backwards today because of the wind so let's get it started get it in the air to do such we're gonna turn it on with the on off switch to on I got the battery plugged in and we're putting it on dirt today to take off we're gonna see how these notice, notice this have double wheels on it here to give you uh, more surface area hopefully for takeoffs on sandy surfaces like that and turning on the transmitter I should have had the transmitter on first but I think we are bound because I got a saw like there so yep we're bound again the winds picking up a bit but let's see how it flies so hope you enjoy this flight nah it's not gonna take off in that we are gonna need to go we're gonna hand toss it we'll hand toss it see how well it flies being hand tossed so again wind coming from that direction there's its stabilization working in the wind and it can fly in the wind surprisingly going downwind let's get it some altitude here bringing it around full throttle down and up trying to loop it no. Oh, I got the stabilization turned on. Turning the stabilization off. Down and up. Nope. Try it again. Down and up. Got to hold the button down, maybe. Down and up. Stabilization's not turning off, folks. Maybe I'm pressing the wrong button. Let's try the left shoulder button. Down and up. Nope. Pressing again. Down and up. Pressing that one, die. So, I don't think this one can do loops. <laughs> oh, there we go. That wind is picking up big time, folks. So, it's struggling here. I should be flying this on a less windy day. But let's see here. Okay, reducing throttle. Coming down, coming down. There we go. Got it to loop. I got it off now. It's turned off now. Let's go down, wind. Do the loop. There we go. It's looping now. I don't know what the dish or deal was originally there. What wouldn't loop before, but now it is. <laughs> it's trying to loop in the wind. I better bring it closer so you can see it. <laughs> Let's keep it up close. We'll fly it around close. But again, it's a blustery day, and even in, in a wind, this thing can fly, surprisingly. But that's just telling you that there's stabilization. It's going downwind there. Stabilization system does work on this plane. <laughs> so that's the Boeing 747 flying on a windy day. Coming into the wind. This is a good plane. 
this good plane. Um, another plane that I flew recently that I liked that was that 737. Unfortunately, that one you got to build. You got you got to uh, glue it together. This one again does not require gluing. <laughs> Trying to do a loop downwind. There we go. Win over at least. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. <laughs> Does a good job. And the stabilization is working. You know, uh, when I turn off the stabilization, I mean, it's turning off the uh, pitch uh, angle restriction for pitch. But it, it'll still level itself if you let go of the stick. That stabilization is still there to level itself. So, yeah, it's a fun plane. And it works on a windy day. You know, a lot of these beginner planes, you can't fly on a windy day. This one you can. Uh, reasonable wind, you know, 5 to 10 mile per hour, something like that. But just drifting into the wind, increasing throttle, and we're going to go higher and then go downwind. And notice how you drop when you go downwind? So always give it a little elevation before you go downwind, folks. Because it's going to lose lift <laughs> as you switch to downwind. Watch, let's try, show you that. See how it drops. Now I'm going to come around here. Do a figure eight around the area. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It pulled out of it. <laughs> Just let go of the stick and give it more throttle. By the way, the throttle's starting to get a little bit... Uh, need to more, use more and more throttle, so the battery is probably getting weak at this point. This one doesn't do the loops like the 737 does. That, that does loops real well. But I think it's because of the extra um, two shapes of engine shapes on there. Four engines. 737 only had two on its wing. But it's doing a good job. So for those of you who want to complete their airliner fleet of the A100 series from... Uh, XK, this again is the 150, the 747 version. Flying into the wind. <laughs> that wind is really picking up now. Let's see if it flies backwards. Oh, oh, it's staying up. Give it more throttle, coming down wind. Nice plane, beginner's plane, learn to fly plane, stabilized for the beginners. <laughs> I ain't gonna do any loops with this, not today. <laughs> ain't gonna happen. But it's flying in the wind, that's all I care about. And that's all most people care about. Can they stay in the wind? Can they fly in the wind? And yes, this can. Oh, where'd it go? It's in the sun. <laughs> there it is. And as with all these two channels, you can do real rapid turns with a uh, diagonal uh, push of the stick. Let me show that to you. Let's do a left turn. See? I go diagonally on the stick and it'll, it'll turn on a dime, this thing. <laughs> Fighting the wind, doing a good job of it. And that's a little 720 motors on there, folks. That's not, not really powerful motors. <laughs> doing a good job there. XK always comes out with the neat stuff. Real neat stuff. Who would have thunk it? You turn a two channel into a three channel. There we go. I got a loop out of it that time. <laughs> this 
he's a good flyer. <laughs> you just can't crash this thing. <laughs> you just let go of that stick and give it throttle. It takes to the air. Okay, now it's getting weak. It's time to land it. We're going to turn it, see if I can make it back here at least, and land it. That's its battery power. I was always giving it full throttle at that point. So that's its flight time of the XKA 150. Again, you can buy spare batteries for this to keep on flying, but I do recommend giving it at least 15 minutes of rest time to let these motors cool down. Okay, they're pushing this big airplane. It's they're, Yeah, they're warm to the touch, quite a bit warm to the touch. So let them cool down before you go flying again. Keep that in mind. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Kev, er, Quadcopter 101 with the Boyan 747 from United Airlines. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.